Thanks, Julian. Thank you very much. A site of special scientific interest, the most unique dunes in Europe, on the many estate in Aberdeenshire. And lo and behold, in comes a certain American billionaire who is going to turn it into a luxury golf resort. <laughs> and there he is with a victory sign that uh, some of us don't really recognize as a victory sign. <clears throat> And when I heard that Donald Trump was going to come and build a golf resort, I felt it was worth documenting. The local newspapers seemed to be thinking that it was a wonderful um, event, uh, that it was going to bring loads of jobs to an area of Scotland which has 1% unemployment, Aberdeenshire. Uh, 1,500 houses was the promise, and a luxury hotel for the super rich. And I just was very, very struck by the fact that the environmental story wasn't being reported, and also the people like Michael Forbes, who is a local resident, and here he is after Trump stages a land grab on his land, showing the police that it's his land. I went to ask the Trump organization some questions, and then this happened. So we're jailed, we're put in jail for several hours. We make a film. Donald Trump didn't like the film, um, <laughs> particularly when the BBC announced it was going to broadcast it on BBC Two, and he launched an 11th hour legal battle to stop the corporation from showing you've been trumped. Um, and he threatened to sue the corporation for um, defamation, which was a bizarre uh, claim. And he then stopped, took to Twitter and uh, tweeted about me and the BBC. Um, Donald Trump has become quite well known for this kind of tweeting. Uh, people like Rosie O'Donnell have been on the receiving end of it. Um, so some would call it a sort of cyber bullying, I suppose. Um, but the great thing is that Michael Forbes, uh, who was branded a pig and his home a slum by Donald Trump, after the documentary was shown on the BBC, went on to be voted Scotsman of the Year, top Scot, um, in the Spirit of Scotland Awards, sponsored by Glenfiddich Whiskey, and Trump's response was to ban Glenfiddich from all his resorts worldwide. And sales of Glenfiddich went through the roof. <laughs> and I understand that Glenfiddich is still banned in Trump resorts today. Um, so I think the lesson from the whole making that film was that power and money shouldn't cost the earth. And here's a seven-year-old's interpretation, or 11-year-old, I should say, interpretation of the film. <clears throat> and it was through making that film that I went on to investigate that more closely in the follow-up film to You've Been Trump, which was showing at the DCA recently, um, partly because it was adopted by people like Occupy Wall Street, who, who showed You've Been Trumped on, the, on to Trump Tower in New York, um, and this gap between the 99% and the 1%, and how uh, billionaires think it's their right to come into a community and build huge sprawling resorts for their own personal gain and pleasure and gate them off to everybody else uh, so that they have their own playground, but the environment often suffers. And that's really what the film is about, whether it's in China, Dubai, or in Scotland, or in the United States of America, or Dubrovnik uh, in Croatia. This is a UNESCO protected site. It is the Pearl of the Adriatic, uh, billionaire developers, so there are Donald Trumps everywhere. They're not always Trump by name, but they're Trump by nature. 
uh, wants to build a massive golf resort overlooking Dubrovnik. And this is the kind of this is the kind of house they have in mind. You know, these huge luxury villas, guzzling water, uh, built on top of the mountain surge, just outside of Dubrovnik. And the ludicrous thing about these golf resorts is they just consume vast amounts of water. The amount of water that golf resorts uh, and golf courses consume around the world is enough to supply 80% of the world's population with water. 80% of the world's population with water. Here's one in Bedminster in New Jersey, which is a Trump, uh, a Trump development. Um, but it's the same wherever it is, whether it's in uh, the Hamptons. Here's Alec Baldwin telling me about a, a golf resort in the Hamptons, uh, which is built over an aquifer, which supplies three million people with drinking water. And the real problem there is the chemicals used on golf courses ending up in the drinking supply. That's the fear. And nobody really understands all this stuff. And here's Donald Trump Jr. Um, after a hunting spree in Africa. Um, <clears throat> and I asked him about this when I was in the, ha in the, be in the Bedminster golf course, because they invited me to go and have a look at it. It was raised for you know, conserving those lands for anti-poaching leagues. Uh, for the game rangers and the people who protect them, we always donate shoes and boots and everything like that to allow that because these are parts of the world where, as sad as it sounds, you know, owning one shoe is a luxury. Two is almost unheard of. And I'm sure that. even my answers will be cut short and will be highly inaccurate. That's why I have a camera watching us because I want that for obviously, you know, for certain reasons. So Trump does an interview. So Blarney, Fitch, why didn't he resign when you were indicted on corruption? Charges? As does the mayor of Dubrovnik. Either leaves to land on search, or they will kill me. And these are the people at the heart of the story. It's just finished at the DCA, but it'll be coming back. And I have, no, I won't try and sell any DVDs, don't worry. 